I want to ask you this. You know, Congress gave money through the CARES Act to help with the development of production of therapeutics. Uh, within three months of being in office, President Biden's administration decided not to buy, or they declined to exercise contract options on monoclonal antibodies. Now, I know you weren't there at the time. Uh, they inherited these contracts from the Trump administration. Those decisions caused a shortage, especially for us in, in Alabama. At the same time, the Biden administration was ramping up monoclonal production uh, as we're trying to get back to it, HHS turned and gave a $142 million non-compete contract to an accounting firm to market these treatments to the public. Uh, the administration hired KPMG to promote a therapeutic that the government stopped buying. That makes no sense. I looked at the, the uh, website and, and uh, I, my, my son and I could probably put it together for $10,000. We paid $142 million. Uh, so I'm just asking you, Ms. McConnell, I understand that uh, HHS is currently reviewing this. Uh, I just would hope that uh, you would commit to reprogramming some of that money to monoclonals if there's any left. Could I get a commitment on you for that? Senator, thank you so much for the question. Um, we have seen a change in the monoclonal landscape uh, when the, the uh, ASPR uh, therapeutics team began looking at the distribution models in February, a lot different uh, than we experienced uh, during the Delta surge, 20-fold uh, increase in demand for monoclonals. Um, and we went to a state distribution system. Um, and so you're absolutely right. It's time to reevaluate whether we need uh, this distribution help to get to the harder hit communities. And that review is underway right now. I'm expecting a memo any day uh, with the team's recommendations uh, on whether to keep that funding going. 